I grew up, if you didn't own a newspaper or a television or radio network, you didn't have much right to speak except to the people right around you. The internet changed all of that. But when more people have the right to speak, more people who say ugly things are going to get to speak. And they're going to get to get bigger audiences, which is what happened. And then everybody is going to say, oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. We have to stop that. But who's the we who has to stop that? And how do you stop it? Um, and I think that that's, you know, the ongoing dilemma. Uh, people have always confused the right to speak with the support for the content of what people say. Uh, the biggest problem I always had at the ACLU is if we defended the rights of communists to speak, people thought we were communists. If we defended the rights of racists to speak, people thought we were racists. Um, and that's not the same thing. Somehow, sometime, the people of this country have to understand. It's not an easy thing to learn, because as I said, it's not intuitive. People are gonna have to understand that they are protected when they protect the rights of their enemies to speak. And that they are in danger when they support restrictions against their enemies. Because you can't limit those restrictions and you can't trust who's gonna be in power to enforce them. And so the price of our free speech is to be insulted by the ugliness of speech we hate. And there is no way out of that dilemma. Uh, 